What is the best cloud storage service to use in 2023? Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and in today's video, we are going to be comparing all the best cloud storage options like Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, iCloud, etc. and see which one you should sign up for. Before we get started, I want to clarify that none of these companies are paying me to say anything. So this will be my genuine comparison. You might find some affiliate links in the description below with discount codes and that is important for me to sustain this channel. So if you end up going with any of these services, please do check out the link in the description. For comparison, there were a couple of things that I've kept in mind that is feature, user experience, transfer speeds, backup and retention and pricing. And all of these services can be used to store your files, folders, videos and photos across Across all the platforms like Windows, Mac, iOS and Android. Let's begin with our first platform that is iDrive. First of all, iDrive allows large file uploads. We can upload a file up to 10 GB, which is sufficient for any kind of person. You can upload photos, large video files and documents, etc. You can use their Android or iOS app and you can also access them across platforms. It's good to see that if you are on a PC or a Mac, you can download three versions of their app that is full basic and thin version. One spectacular feature of this service is block syncing, which means once all the files are uploaded, then you can modify something and only the newer files will be updated on the cloud rather than entire files again, which makes the overall experience much faster. Also transfer speeds are crazy fast. When I was uploading my files, it maxed out 150 megabits of upload on my Mac. Also they store up to 30 versions of the files, which doesn't take up additional storage space in your plan. So if you are facing any issues, you can access those. Now coming down to the pricing, we have a bunch of options. As you can see, they offer basic, mini, personal, team and business plans. And under each plan, you can select your storage. You can take a second to pause this video to see all the pricing, but I have found special deal for you. So if you look at the 5 TB plan, you can see that it's 59.62, which is already a $20 discount. But if you use the discount link in the description, you can get this plan for $7.95 for the first year which is insane that is 90 percent off you can have a whole year to use their service for eight dollars and if you don't like the service just lost eight dollars which is nothing for renting five tv of storage for a year so if you want to check out you can check it out from the description below now let's talk about our second competitor and that is Dropbox. For the file size, we can upload a 250 GB of file. So you can upload any kind of file to Dropbox. Like iDrive Dropbox also use block syncing. So it also uploads only modified files and saves quite a lot of bandwidth and time. And upload speeds are better. Here I experienced 175 megabits per second for upload speed, which is super duper fast. And the download speeds are bonkers. I was getting one gigs per second. So five GB of file took me like two, three, four seconds download. One feature I love about the Dropbox is file syncing. So with the help of this, we can choose to keep a file online, locally or both. As Dropbox is quite old in the game, so they have a very refined user experience and the UI is simply great. Last but not least, they also have a file history. They offer a 30 day file recovery feature. So if you ever get stuck, you can revert that back. Pricing wise, they have all these plans like $10 per month for two terabytes for one user, $70 per month for two terabytes for six users. You can pick whichever one you like, but personally I'm using the standard plan that is 5 TB for $15 per month for three plus users. Again, you can use the link in the description to check the pricing and sign up. Next one on the list is the Google Drive. When it comes to cloud storage, Google Google is the only name that comes to everyone's mind. Google Drive Storage is bundled with Google One subscription that offers additional features like 10% back on your Google Store purchases and much more. Upload cap is five terabytes per file, which is insane. And the download and upload speeds are crazy fast. You can expect that from Google. For me, it gave around 150 megabits for upload and maxed out my one gigabit per second on downloads. You can also sync files to your computer and edit it directly from there. And it also has a feature with the help of which you can access all your files from your computer, even if you have much smaller hard drive. Unlike other service, Google doesn't offer file backup or version history like Dropbox or iDrive. However, they have a 30 day recycle bin. User experience wise, I don't have to say anything. It's fantastic. Google is well integrated with every application and you can easily sync all of your files to any of device or app. 
apps you like. For pricing, you can choose between 15 GB of free storage, 100 GB for $12 a year, for 200 GB it's $30 and for 2 terabytes it's $100. Price wise, it's a bit higher than other competitors but they also have additional benefits that others don't have. Moving on to the next one and that is pCloud. This is another underrated cloud storage service that not many are aware of. Like other cloud services, they also share the same features. pCloud is based on Switzerland which is good for our privacy. For downloads and uploads, again there is no size limit so you can download and upload whatever you like and they also have block level syncing. pCloud also offers some add-ons like crypto encryption that has a couple of features like zero knowledge privacy, multi-layer protection etc. They also offer one year file history add-on. Talking about upload speeds, it's solid, they maxed out my connection like the upload and download speeds. The app itself is good, there were no issues. Again you get 30 days of version history and account rewind mode. Pricing wise they have 5GB for $50 a year and 2TB for $100 a year. However, they also offer a lifetime plan that is 500GB for $200, 2TB for $400 and 10TB for $1200. So you can choose whatever suits you the best and make sure to check out from the description below as you can get some discounts. Next up we have iCloud which is now iCloud Plus. Now this service is especially for those who love the Apple ecosystem. This is something that can do wonders if you use all the Apple devices like iPhone, iPad and Mac. You can not only sync photos but all the other data in your phone like backup, iMessages, etc. User experience wise, it's fantastic if you are on the Apple ecosystem. It is wired deep down in the devices. Talking about the transfer speeds, well, you know that it is 150 megabits per second for the upload and 1 GB per second for the downloads. Now, files history, they say they keep it for 30 days, but there is no solid information on that. Pricing wise, it's $1 per month for 50 GB, $3 per month for 200 GB, and $10 for 2 terabyte. Now, iCloud is something that I won't recommend to everyone unless you are solely into the Apple ecosystem. Outside that, it's quite complex. Another big player we are left with is OneDrive by Microsoft. Like Google Drive with OneDrive, we are getting like more than just cloud storage. They offer access to apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. Being Microsoft, they have OneDrive integrated deep down to the system. You can use that with your Microsoft apps, Microsoft operating system. Also, you can use it with your Android device, iOS, and Mac devices as well. The file size, they allow is 250 GB of space of file, so no issues there. Also, file on demand works fantastically, and you would feel as if you were files were on the system, not on the cloud. Also, files won't take up any local disk space, which is a great thing. With OneDrive, we get 30 days of history retention, so we can go back in time and restore our files. Now pricing wise they have a 5 GB of free plan, 100 GB for $20 per year, 1 terabyte for $70 and 6 terabyte for $100 per year. And that's it. Those were all the best cloud storage options for 2023. Let me know which you should pick in the comments below. Also make sure to check out the discount links in the description below so you can save some money. And that's it for today. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye bye.